Williams out of turn four to take the white flag. First lap, 15.602, the quickest first lap of the day for Steven. The outlaw working turn number three and four, checkered flag coming out, Stevens will get a time. The time to beat, 15.476 for Stevens, 15.452, he's done it. Jess Stevens by two one hundredths of a second has the fast time of the afternoon in car number 44. Chris Rule. And the 53 is Gary Johnson from Hollis. The 32 is rookie Todd Mead from Wyndham. Number 26, and as they get the green flag, the first race of the 1989 racing season here. We'll get you up to date on the drivers as we go along. The 30 car is able to hold down low as they come out of turn two with the 88, giving them a little help getting him out of the way. 88 takes over the lead. The 88, <coughs> excuse me. 88 today driven by Mike Field on Portland. 86, excuse me, Rob Herrick from Scarborough. Scott Boucher, who started on the pole, has got his car moving and moving around as we come into single fire. They are going into turn three, three wide up there today. The 74 car, a little sideways coming out of the turn. Gary has yellow flag. Caution on the track as we have a spin in the back stretch and one on the front stretch. Guys will be sorting themselves out and get back into you know, single file. Gary Adams in the Leventon on the number 74 was a little loose coming out of there. The 26 was your kind of spot on the back stretch was rookie Kurt Howard. <laughs> Junior Noyles has given us the signal that we're going to go racing this time down. He's asking to pick up the speed just a little bit, tighten it up, boys. We're the pack is bunching up. A few boys getting anxious. Getting out three wide. All right, green flag is out. Green flag is out. The 86 of Bob Herrick is going to show them the inside groove and hang it low. As they keep it tight going down the back stretch, bringing out a little bit though. 21 car slips a little bit. 51 car. Kerry Anderson out of Scarborough running second. We have trouble in turn two. 85 of Scott Chapman does a loop to loop. He's all running, all kinds of hopes. We got a couple others that are not going so good here. The 27 of Bubba Felton. Good. We can have no problems there. We're under caution one more time. Level zero of Corey Sanborn, also another rookie. The two rookies are meeting on the first time out here today. Coming with a real slow pace. Junior Niles says, boys, are you ready? Pump them up just a little bit. Going to come in strong. As he gets the 86 a little loose, the 51 goes a little wide. Almost opening the door for the 89 car as they go into turn one. Staying two abreast, a little bumping in the in the one turn there. Everything is going smooth. Down the back stretch. 51 of Kerry Anderson is letting the 86. Uh, Rob Herrick know he's right there. Don't make a mistake because I'm going to be in there. Falling very close to the right to the rail. 89 car of Butch Buzzle, that beautiful Haviland Buick is right there with him. And Pontiac, I believe. 86 continues to lead the way. Not giving any room to Kerry Anderson in the 51. Kerry's a little loose there. He can't make many mistakes, so he'll be number three. There's Butch Buzzle in the 89 is right there, ready to take over for him. He's ready to take that position and did take it. 83 sets a little wide, and young Mike Mayetta, rookie, coming up through the middle, holding in there tight. They seem to be a little loose going into the three turn, two turn, three wide, down the back stretch. Everybody makes it around as we complete lap number five. 86 of Rob Herrick continues to show the way, opening up slightly over the rest of the boys. Jerry Anderson able to hold very good. The 74 car, we saw loose early in the race, Gary Adams. He's hanging right in there for fourth place. Being followed very closely by number 53, one of the Johnson boys, Gary Johnson out of Hollis. And a 19 of Young McClure, staying right close with them. They've got the 74 hung out in the second groove now and hope to get underneath them. The 85 car, Scott Chapman, loses it down the front stretch. He's all set, underway. Everything is clear, the track is clear. 86 continues to make the track a little wider. You notice he comes wide down the front stretch. More perfectly round, he can make this the faster he's able to go. Gets the RPMs up. Now we're getting into racing traffic. We're 
to see a few changes made in the lineup as we shuffle around. It's by the 30 car that started on the pole with John Bucci. As the 86 car continues to lead the way. 51 to Gary Anson right there. Now the 53 of Gary Johnson coming on strong. He's going to challenge hard for the second position with young McClure in the 19 car. Brian McClure right there, ready for one of them to make a mistake. He may have some trouble. Mike Johnson, uh, Gary Johnson had a little problem there. Get blocked in. Box is going to happen to him again with his slower traffic for the young number 27 in the, uh, the working of Bubba Pelton. Everybody gets around him fine, no problems. 51 to Kerry Anderson, get into the 80, 86 of Rob Herrick just a little bit. They all come out of it good. And young Gary McClure goes on, whoops, into the lead. We have first and second place guys of a lap ago are now in trouble. Kerry Anderson and, and uh, Rob Herrick into the wall in turn one. But Eric is going all right. I believe the 51 of Kerry Anderson is running. He has a little sheet metal damage. That hands the lead over, who he's just taken it over. Brian McClure had taken the lead. He went handed to him. He worked hard for it. And the 53 of Gary Johnson right there. Another fine, strong competitor was coming on very strong. It's a pace car, a Chevrolet pace car pulls off. Gary Johnson shows him the way down through. Gina Brian McClure, gonna put a tight run on him this time. We have a fantastic race for one. 53 of Johnson, able to get the nose out in front. Young McClure says, I'll have none of this. He wants to take that number one spot away. They're gonna run Cy Beach down the front stretch. Of course, he's a, a little more down the stretch, but Johnson is able to have the handling in the turns, keep it down low. Halfway mark next time around. Halfway mark next time around as McClure able to nose ahead just slightly as they get down. He's gaining ever so slightly on halfway this time by with McClure taking the lead. But that lap Johnson hanging top the number two position. McClure will take away the position as they get down the back stretch with the 83 car Ron Badler. Hanging in there for third in the 42 car of Dennis Tobias. Fourth place. And fifth will be 89 of Butch Buzzle, rounding out the top five. As they get down the back room, Dennis Tobias takes over. Whoops, he takes over the third spot, but goes loose. And the 83 car, car has to go real wide. He's able to maintain that third position. Now retired. He's having a few more troubles than he can handle today. John Bushy is retiring to the pits. Young Mike Matter in the 113. Running in uh, sixth position. Closing in on that lead group a little bit. The 83 car is taken back over the fourth position from Butch Buzzle. Brian McClure keeps, keeps showing the way to Gary Johnson in the 33, 53 rather, in the lap traffic now. We'll see where their experience shows up here now. We've got a couple of young drivers who can work the traffic over. 19 is able to find the way around the outside. Johnson holds it down low, hoping that the uh, orange lap car will make a mistake and give him the room to get through the 80 car. The 80 car, Dana Reed, is another rookie. And put the lap down by McClure and Johnson. This time around, five laps to go this time around. As the 19 of McClure goes wide, high wide and handsome. He's able to pull it back and hang on to second place. Gary Johnson has the lead now. And a very, get about a six to eight car length or more on McClure. Opening it up all the time down the back stretch. Perhaps he's got tire problems or something on McClure car. Yeah, pulling, up, pulling away, slap around, running very strong. McClure in second, 42 back. Uh, Dennis Tobias running a good strong third, but here comes the 83 car. We have trouble in turn three. 
McClure is mixed up in it along with 85. Scott Chapman in the 26. Uh, Kurt Wooded, a rookie. A lot of debris in the turn three. That's a tough break for McClure. He was running very strong in that second position. Johnson appears to have a very strong car. Pape Chevrolet pace car will be pulling in. They're coming in a little slower. Side by side, they get the green out of four turns. Johnson pulls away from the field as Elias tucks it down low. The 32 car of Todd Mead, another rookie, running in third at this time. I believe he's a lap car. The 89 of Butch Buzzle going way to the inside as he is in the third place. They're having trouble getting up. Whoops, we have trouble in turn four. Oh, four or five cars come together. Debris in the turn. Cars are crippled. 32 of Top Mead out of control. We do have caution on the, on the track. The 06 of Dennis McQuinn pulls all the way from the wall. He's okay. The 51 of Kerry Anson. He was running real strong earlier. He really has that air condition today. He doesn't need that, though. Picking up a little bit of momentum. Tobias, get the green. Junior Niles pulls him. He gets him the green right in the three turn. Johnson's ready. He pulls out high and wide. With the 113 of Maeda right on his tail. Rookie Maeda running a very strong race for his first time out. Although Johnson is pulling away. He has an eight or 10 car length lead. Tobias is coming up high on Maeda. He's a little tap on him. He's here. He wants to go underneath. And have the spot. Maeda continued to hold strong, but he's a little loose in that second group. He's going to have to settle for third place. He has to watch out because Buzzle's coming hard on him for the fourth position. Buzzle wants that third place. And it's still with one lap to go. Green flag is out, baby. As the boys continue, Maeda's a little loose there. He's got to be careful. He's riding a little tighter. Buzzle's right there to take that third spot from him if he's not careful. Kerry Johnson shows the way with that Camaro. He's going away. Picks up the first checkered flag at Beach Ridge Motor Speedway for 1989. Kevin Devine second. Uh, <laughs> 27 above a belt. Does the slide for life one more time. Gary Smith and Jack Bateman will be side by side in row number one. Joe Bowser and Dave Bibbins, Lucien Rochelot and Paul Johnson, the top six starters as we'll look for a green this time. Coors Tour pace car, the 1989 Chevrolet IROC Z Camaro pulling onto pit road. Chief starter John Hubbard on the flag stand looking the field over. We are set for a start out of turn four. And already the field scrambling a couple of cars loose at the start finish line. Ronnie Jarvis spinning at the bottom of turn one keeps it off the wall. Jarvis in car number 27 has it back and away. Track is clear, will stay green. Jack Bateman, the leader in car number 27. Then Gary Smith, the 75, and Paul Johnson in the 35. Fourth spot goes to Joe Bowser and charging on the outside, the 31 of Dave Bibbins. Only five to qualify. Bibbins slipping back on the outside in car number 31, moving underneath the 66, Lucien Rochelo. Rochelo now trying to pick up the final qualified position. He does it with the inside move on the bottom of turn number two. On a turn number four, leader is Jack Bateman in car number 27. Gary Smith and Paul Johnson and Alex Johnson moving to the outside to challenge for the second spot. Leader Jack Bateman lapping in just a hair over the 16 second mark. On the outside, Johnson with the move goes to the second position. Bateman the leader, Paul Johnson second. Gary Smith, Joe Bowser, and Lucien Rochelot, the 66, is now the man on the hot seat as he holds down the final qualified position. Rochelot in the 66, now beginning to feel the heat. Carlton Roby on his back up in the right of red 24. The 80, Donald Feige tangles, and they spin in turn number two. The 65, Blair Bassett looping. Field gets away, Bassett sideways in turn two, and the field goes under caution. Field under the yellow flag as they come across the start-finish line. Donald Thiege, car number 80, torn up in the front end on the right front corner. Trailing some fiberglass off that Buick automobile, and Donald Thiege may have to go to the garage area. Field set, we'll look for a green this time. Top five to qualify. With five laps down, Jack Bateman 
shows the layout of turn number four, looking for green, and they've got it. Bateman on the point, leads him down the back straightaway. Johnson still running in the second spot. Gary Smith third, Bowser fourth, Rushalo fifth. Top five remaining unchanged. Keep an eye on the 66 of Rushalo. He's the man on the bubble. Bateman in the 27, holding that low groove. Paul Johnson drafting down the back straightaway, right behind him in the second spot. Moving to the outside for fifth. Here comes Herb Simpson, car number three, going to the high groove. Rushalo down low in the 66. Herb Simpson up high in the three, the battle for the final spot. Rushalo holding on downstairs. This time by will be halfway down. Simpson rim rides the high groove in turn three and four. Hudson will be trying to go the hard way around. Can't do it as he slides back in turn four. Lucien Rushalo, the Canadian driver in car number 66, holding on to that final spot. Continues to feel the heat from Herb Simpson. Simpson gives him a shot from behind in turn three. Hudson Herbie trying to force the youngster out of the fast groove on the inside. Rushalo has none of that. He holds on to the spot. 66, Rushalo down the back straightaway. Holds the final quarter position. Herb Simpson in the three. Bob Ailes in the 25, giving chase. Out in front, it continues to be Jack Bateman in the 27, and Paul Johnson in the 35, pulling away from the field. Here's Simpson to the inside for fifth. Rushalo shuts him down in turn three. Slamming the door on Herb Simpson. Lucian Rushalo trying to hold on to that final spot. Bateman and Johnson continue to run away from the field. Gary Smith third in the 75. Joe Bowser in the one, and here's Simpson again on the inside. Hudson Herbie trying to move the high groove. Rushalo holds him off one more time. Shaking it up at the top of turn number one. Simpson trying to hang on to the high groove. Pulling up down straight away. Takes it up to the wall. This time we'll have two laps to go. Bateman and Johnson out in front. And here comes Hudson Herbie. Herb Simpson takes off the number five spot. Goes to the outside of Bowser for fourth down the back straight away. White flag comes out. One to go for Jack Bateman. Paul Johnson has a thought about the outside groove now. Johnson the challenge down the back straightaway. Final time around for Jack Bateman. Bateman in the 27. Johnson up high in the 35. Here they come looking for checkers. It's going to be Jack Bateman here winner. Johnson comes home second. Gary Smith, Joe Bowser, and Lucian Rochelot. Field is set. We'll look for a start. Once again, the top five will qualify. As they come down on a turn number four, John Homer looks up and sends him away. Dave St. Clair with a nose up on the outside in the 14. St. Clair, your leader, down the back straightaway. Herrick trying to hang on to the 25. Outside lane, get from the move on the outside of four. Matt Bosowski, the 33 now, goes wheel to wheel for Herrick, looking for the second spot. On the outside, it's Bosowski moving up. Gets a little bit loose down the back chute. Powers out and he goes to the runner-up position. Herrick in the 25 is second. Bobby Randall in the 91 and the 88 of Steve Bolton. Side-by-side -side racing down the back straightaway. Bosowski dripping high, and it's Herrick coming back to the low side. Challenging, they lead on each other out of turn four, and again, it's Bosowski with the advantage. Matt Bosowski in the 33. Dave Herrick, 25, and it's Bosowski. Now here's Randall on the outside. Bobby Randall making the bid for the number three spot into turn number three. Randall up high, the 91 takes over. Herrick now fourth. Steve Knowlton moves around to the 88. Dave Herrick in car number 25, now the man on the bubble. Final qualifier as Yvonne Bedard goes to the outside in the nine. Bedard looking to pick up the final spot as Bonnie Randall continues to move. Randall, the 91, going to the high side of Matt Bosowski out of turn two. Bosowski on the inside, Randall up high, that's the battle for the number two spot. Dave St. Clair way out in front of the pack in the 14. Bosowski still second, Randall third, and here comes Stevie Knowlton. Knowlton hugging the inside lane in the 88, trying to move underneath Randall. Three cars under a blanket for the number two spot. Field lapping at 15.8 seconds. And Randall now trapped up on the outside. Bobby Randall finds himself.
himself up in no man's land on the outside of the back straightaway. 33, Bosowski, the 91, Randall, 88, Steve Moulton, all three cars under a blanket out of four. Goes all the way around, cuts a 360, trying to refire. Bedard in the nine, refires the car, will stay green. Bedard back underway, and in the second spot, now Randall has a nose in front. Wolsowski tags him, Randall hangs on to it and holds on to second spot. Great move by Bobby Randall in the 91, as he got tagged from behind, dirt tracked it all the way around, and he holds on to the number two spot. Wolsowski now is third, Knowlton is fourth, and in the fifth position, Mike Mayetta, the 13. Mayetta in car number 13, trying to hold on to the final qualified spot. Claude Leclerc in the 11 right behind. Four laps to go as they work down the back straightaway. Dave St. Clair in the 14, leads it by a long ways. Randall running second in the 91, third to Wolsowski in the 33. Knowlton is fourth, Mayetta fifth, and Claude Leclerc needs one spot to grab. Steve Knowlton trying to get inside of Bosowski. That's the battle for third place. Knowlton makes some room downstairs. Steve Knowlton, the 88, has it on the inside. He goes to third place. Mayetta trying to follow him through. Bosowski slams the door. They tangle in turn one. Mayetta sideways. Claude Leclerc goes underneath. Battle for the final spot. Bosowski and Claude Leclerc in the 11. Leclerc picking up the final qualified spot on the next to last lap. Check the thread. St. Clair, your winner. Randall second. Steve Moulton, Matt Bosowski, and Claude Leclerc. Inside, Paul Sitter has the option to set the pace. That's Kevin LePage in the 21. They'll try it again, this time in turn three and four. Watch your starter. LePage on the inside. McRae on the outside, bringing him down, and they've got a green. LePage in the four Thunderbird showing the way down the back stretch. Trouble out back. Derek Lynch tangling with Ralph Nason. Everybody sorts it out and they stay green. LePage the leader. McCray in second. Here comes Jeffrey Stevens. Stevens on the march on the outside. Picks off McCray for the second spot. Down the back straightaway. Jeffrey Stevens trying to run for the lead now. LePage in the 21. Stevens in the 44. Slide, it's LePage by a fender. LePage trying to push the outlaw high to the outside of turn two. Stevens on the outside, has the nose in front for the lead. Jeff Steep. Kevin LePage, the 21, it's Stevens in five this time. Ford Thunderbird on the inside, the Buick on the outside, and now it's Jeff Stevens motoring out. Stevens, your leader in the 44. LePage is second, McCray third, back to hand, and Gord Bennett the top five. Gord Bennett in car number 67, that final qualifier as they work the back straight away. Ralph Mason, the Dodge Daytona number 10, trying to close ground on the lead pack. Five down, ten to go for Jeff Stevens, lapping at 15.6 seconds last time around. Stevens in the 44, setting up blistering pace. LePage still second to 21. Barney McRae third. Bob Gahan, Gordon Bennett, here comes Ralph Nason. Derek Lynch looping the B, takes it to the outside wall. Chief starter John Hubbard looking things over. We may see a caution flag. Yes, yellow is out. Yellow flag on the speedway for the 15 of Derek Lynch. Field is set, track is clear, green is out of a racing. And it's LePage sneaking to the inside of Jeff Stevens. Kevin LePage with a slingshot move at the drop of the green. LePage in the fourth, Thunderbird goes to the front again. LePage and Stevens inside and out, working on each other on a turn number four. Kevin LePage shows the way. What a comeback by Kevin LePage as he puts the fourth, Thunderbird back on the point. Stevens now trying to hang on to second. McRae is third. Gahan in the 54th and Bennett fifth. We're halfway down. LePage in the 
21, holds on to the top spot. Jeff Stevens right there on his back bumper, a car length back to Barney McRae, Bob Gahan, Gord Bennett, then Ralph Nason and Russ Irwin who starts to run. Irwin on the outside in the budget rental car number eight. Irwin, the defending rookie of the year on the Coors Tour, going to the high side, trying to pick up spots. He moves around Ralph Nason, he needs one more to qualify. Irwin at the line last time in sixth place. They lean on each other out of turn two. Ralph Nason on the inside in the Dodge. Russ Irwin up high in the Ford number eight, and here's Stevens looking for the lead again. Jeff Stevens charging again on the high side. Kevin LePage in the Ford trying to hold him off. Here comes Stevens pulling even down the back straightaway. Stevens with a nose in front in three. Side by side, they race for the lead. Stevens in on the march in the high groove. He's got the lead down the back straightaway. Stevens and LePage swap positions again, and this time down will have two laps to go. Two to go on the battle now for the five spot. Gordon at the 67, holding on to fifth. Look out, Erwin and Nason tangling. Field takes evasive action. Dion loops the 29, and the flag is out. Dion's got a long ways to go and a short time to get there. Only two laps remaining. Here at heat number three for the Coors Tour late models. Pace car is in. We'll look for a start. Stevens and LePage with two to go. Green is out of the racing. Stevens the leader. LePage second moving on the outside. The 50 of Gahan. Bob Gahan going after the number three spot. McRae on the inside, the hand on the outside, white flag is up, we've got one to go. Final spot is up there. Stevens leads it, LePage second, the hand, McRae, and here's Cusack going for the final spot. Bennett on the inside in the 67, Cusack in the ticket, flag is up, and scored, Bennett by a nose. Jeff Stevens wins it, LePage is second. Then Gahan, McCray, and by a nose at the line, Gord Bennett for the number five spot. Danny Poulin in car number 22, well familiar with this Beach Ridge Oval. On the outside, Dave Lebrecht in the 55. Then Dale Quarterly, the national motorcycle racing champion in car number 32 during Daytona Speed Weeks, won three out of four races on the Campbell Championship Trail, now turns his attention to stock cars. Green is out, and Quarterly pulls his way to the inside. Dale Quarterly in car number 32 now has the low road. Quarterly and Pullen leaning on each other down the back straightaway. Look, we've got a tangle in the back straightaway. 39, Sylvester, the 55 of Dave LeBrecken were under caution. Keep an eye on the 09 of Rick Craven, the 48 of Robbie Crouch, both among the front runners week in, week out, one year ago here on the Coors Tour. So some heavy iron ready to roll here in heat number four. Complete restart on tap. We're set to go. Pace car is in. Danny Pullen and Dale Quarterly will set the pace out of row number one. Green is out. We're underway. Quarterly getting sideways down the front chute. Field going past. They go three deep through turn one and two. Quarterly trapped on the outside. Craven down low. Cabana in the middle. They move underneath Quarterly. Craven gets tagged and around he goes. Crouch takes evasive action. Field is safe. Craven back underway. Craven in the 09 with a close call at the top of turn number four. Officials looking the track over for debris. At least for the moment, we may stay green. Field is green. Debris at the top of turn four is up and well out of the racing groove, so they'll let him continue. Danny Poulin, the 22-year leader. Dick Belisle second. Buzzy Bazanson in the two. Paul Richardson and John Paul Cabana. And right now, the battle is for the second spot. Belisle in the 35. Buzzy Bazanson in the two. A pair of course tour rookies going at it for the runner-up spot now. Danny Pullen, 
Brown with the big lead. In car number 22, the 35, Dick Belisle is second, Bazanson third, Richardson fourth, John Paul Cabana, the 5A in the final qualified spot. Robbie Crouch trying to reel him in at the number, number six position. Laps to go, and as it looks right now, Robbie Crouch, Ricky Craven, both will be going to the Concy unless they can gain some ground on that lead pack. Crouch beginning to whittle away on it now, pulling up on Cabana into turn number one. John Paul Cabana in the 5A, the final qualified automobile. This time by will be halfway for your leader, Danny Pullen. Cabana now hugging the inside as here comes Crouch. Robbie Crouch in the 48 comes from out of nowhere. Now goes to work on Cabana. On the outside, Crouch to fifth. Around Richardson, he's got the fourth spot. Lap car ahead, the 55 of Dave LeBrec. Dick Belisle in the 35, right behind him, Robbie Crouch. Crouch on a tear from the back of the pack. Richardson finds a hole downstairs. Field shuffling and Crouch gets drop kicked on the outside. Buzzy Bazanson to the outside of the left automobile. Bazanson in the two, he goes to second. Richardson third. Cabana fourth, and now it's Ricky Craven to the final spot. Craven in the 09, now he's trapped behind the car. Crouch goes around him. Nobody seems to want that final qualified position. Right now it's the 48 of Robbie Crouch. Crouch running number five. Right behind him, Ricky Craven in the 09. The 22 of Poulin is your leader. Bazanson running second. Richardson in the 07. Cabana, Crouch, and Craven trying to get down low. Can't do it in a turn one. This time by, two laps to go for Danny Poulin walking away with the fourth qualifier. Bazanson still second. Richardson, Cabana, Crouch, and Craven. Craven down to the inside to try and pick it up. Ricky Craven makes the hole. for the final time. Checkers are out. Pullen is your winner. Bazanson will be second. And it's going to be Paul Richardson, Cabana, and Crouch. 47, Willie Boucher. Uh, Portland, 28, Kenneth McLeod. As we have green, Kenneth McLeod from Old Lot to Beach. 93 is Danny Palmer from Springville. And number two, Brad Layton from Santa Harbor. As we complete lap number one, the 97, holding the 55 to Bay, going to turn two, they're running two abreast, real strong run. The 97 is able to pull away as they head down the back chute. The 97 of Ralph Height, able to maintain his lead. The 55 car a little loose, getting a little help in the back. He goes a little wide, but my rookie pulls it down low. 11 car trying to make a move on the outside, Steve Winslow. He has to pull it down the inside. Now he brings it back up, trying to take it to the third position from number 15, Don Tapley. We complete lap number three. The 97 holds on to a very comfortable lead. With the 70 trying to bring it around the outside, close down on him. The 59 car of Jer Jerry DePeter is trying to sneak up the inside. Number 44, Terry Brown coming hard on the outside to take over position number three in the 11 car of Steve Winslow. Hopes to have that number four position. He's pulling high out the turn two and does take over the position as we go three wide in the turn two. Everybody keeps it straight and tight. We have a spin in turn number three, the zero car of Gary Clough out of Kenny Bumsport is under fire. Thought the car was running. Not be. Now we go into caution. Eddie Walson, we got a little bit too much trouble up there. We're going to have to pull out the caution. As the 97 car of Ralph Hike continues to lead, he brings him down, slows him down, brings him around for the pace lap. Doing a fine job. But as Eddie Wallace brings him down for green, the 70 car finds the right way around and he takes over the lead. Jeff Morgan showing the way. Very strong start. As the 44 car loses 
a little bit of traction just goes way from third place way back to about eighth or ninth he's back in line we're going three deep into the four turn the 97 car Ralph Hyde is hanging in that top he wants to regain that lead he'll wait for the Jeff Morgan in the 70 car to make a mistake and try to get him coming up hard on the outside the 11 car of Steve Wilson he a little bit higher than he wanted to there. The old three of Steve Howard making a move also. Steve Howard made his move to the inside. That was the wrong way to go. The 59 car of Jeffrey DeBita running a strong third of the 72 of Mark Field out of Holland running fourth. Mark Field is is there, uh, trying to take over the two third spot coming in from the third turn. The 97 car a little loose there, but he hangs on tight trying to get to the inside of the 70 car. The 68 car, Chuck Haynes, putting on a strong bid to get in that top three. 25 lap race, nine laps down. Mark Field putting on a strong bid around for second. 72 car seems to be hooked up right now. The fastest car out there. Putting a hard move on Jeff Morgan in the 70 car. Pulls up to the rear, rear quarter on the 3-4 turn. Coming hard down the front. Not quite yet, but it looks like he has car enough to take over as he's down the back straight. Strong move out of the uh, second turn with Chuck Dean. He's going to make the move right on his bumper. going to stay with him in the 68 car. We have a spin in the uh, Dave Brad Layton in the two car. Under control. Back race. Spin in the front of the 23 Bonanza car of uh, Robbie Doerr and the 44 of Terry Brown. Both get underway. Whoops, the 44 does not have power. He's close to the inside, trying to get the car refired. Eddie Walsh has to drop the yellow flag. The 70 car continues to lead this way. Jeff Morgan, 72 car, put a, put a hard bid on it. Number 72, Mark Field, but was unable to do it, I believe, as they come across. As Mark Field leads the pack out. He, up a little steam, but the 70 car of Jeff Morgan holding back a little. Mark Field will be holding. Green flag is out. Mark is able to pull away with the 70 car from trying to regain his lead again. He's doing it and got the caution out before. 68 of Chuck Haynes right there. Picking up second place with the 16 car of Don Culpert. Whoops, the 59 goes a little high out over the four turn. Okay. 59 of Jerry DePita pulls back into the back of the pack. No trouble, except that he lost a lot of positions. Coming hard up the outside is the 29th car of Scott Pullen. Trying to keep up with his brother. Scott Pullen, brother to Danny Pullen in the last race of the 22. And Scott says, I can do this too. He's coming hard up the outside in the 29. The Yellow 29 pulls on the third place. The six of Doug McClure hanging right with him. Another one of the young McClure boys. Coming around also on the outside. Jeff Morgan trying to hold him at bay. He wants that fourth position. The 72 car, Mark Field hangs on for the lead with Chuck Dean right on his bumper. He's trying to make a mistake to keep it low on the inside. Now the six car of Doug McClure takes over that third position with the 16 car trying to muscle his way up the inside. Don Culver unable to make that move. The 111 car of Pee Wee Knight making his move into the top five. And he takes over the fifth spot. Pee Wee Knight, the 111 car takes over the fifth spot. 16 to Don Culver trying to get him that sixth spot, but he's loose. He's wide, high, wide, and handsome. Now the 29 car <coughs> of Scott Pullen trying to take over the second place. He's pulling up onto the second place position. 
I believe he's going to do it. He has it at this time around. Now the 72 of Mark Hill has his work cut out for him to hold him off. And Scott Pol loses a little traction there going into two turn. Trying to back up the outside one more time. Will he be able to do it? Mark Hills is on a big spin in the turn, three turn. 87 car of Steve Perry, that beautiful 87 car is out over the 23 car of Paul uh, Robbie Dua. They're back, they're still coming around the outside. Seven car Gary Harper seems to be on the power. Everything is okay. Bikeman 80 Walton keeps him under green. Scotty Pullen still trying to take over that number two spot. However, Chuck Keynes will have none of that. It seems to found the groove and he's holding very strong there. Scott may have been worn out his tires coming so hard. He's unable to get back up beside him and around him now. Continues to put the pressure on him. This time around, Eddie Waltz has two laps to go, boys. Two laps to go. The 72 of Mark Field continues to lead this show. The 68 of Chuck Haynes hanging, hanging tough for second. Scott Pullen's having to pull back in the third place. Evidently, he's worn out the rubber in that car. One of White flag is flying for number 72, Mark Field. Going to get in some lap traffic, perhaps, before they get back to the status stand. It could be a problem for him. Chuck Haynes is right there, waiting for him to make a mistake to take this over. He'd love to do it down the last shoot here. Scott pulling right there. They will go 72, 68, 29, 23, and 111. Lights go out on the ACT safety car, signifying next time I will go racing. Consolation round number one for the Coors Tour late models. Bob Ailes, Glenn Cusack, side by side in row number one. Then Dave Bibbins and Dick Belisle, Blair Bissett, and Derek Lynch, top six to qualify. Field is set, pace car is in, we'll look for a start. Bob Ailes sets the fast pace off the inside, he's got him left out, Lynch around. Derek Lynch all the way around in the face of the field in turn four. Lynch, the youngster out of Ontario, trying to refire car number 15. Caution flag is out. Lap down. Here comes the field racing in four. Cusack tucks it downstairs and makes it by. Still racing. Wahoo! Dion almost takes a piece. Oh, my heart. Close call for Derek Lynch in car number 15. Pace car is in. In turn number three, we'll look for a start. The 25 of Ailes, the two of Cusack, three is out, and it's Glenn Cusack with the jump. Cusack in the Pontiac, on the outside, going to work, it's Glenn Cusack, your leader, treble in turn number two. Hops and Herbie goes around, cars all over the racetrack, Simpson spinning back down into the low groove. Yellow flag is out. Herb Simpson, Dale Quarterly, Bob Ramsdale all involved. Herb Simpson got a look at the track from all angles that time around. Spun off the outside of the track, kept the hammer down, and came right back down across. Bobby Ale on the inside. Cusack up high as he looked for green again. Pace car ducking in. He got a green and they're underway. The 25 of Ailes in the Chevrolet. Cusack up high in the Pontiac automobile, and it's Bob Ailes that time with a jump. Ailes leads it into turn three. Cusack second, Dick Belisle downstairs now takes the runner-up spot. Lynch again spinning at the top of turn three and four. Derek Lynch in the 15 again six sideways at the top of the racetrack. We may see a caution. No, he's got it refired. Ailes is your leader. Belisle down to the inside will challenge now. In a turn number one, Dick Belisle has the jump down low. The 35 goes to the lead. Dick Belisle, your leader. Ailes now second. Glenn Cusack in the two is third. Dave Bip fourth, and here comes Dion. Dion on the outside has got a qualified spot. Dave Dion, the Berlin City Ford. Now running in the number five position. Blair Bissett, the 65, now the final qualifier. And here comes Hudson Hervey on the outside of the three. 
Jason Roden, Herb Simpson in the three. Both drivers need to pick up the spot. 65 to set the final qualifier. A change in the number two spot. Cusack makes a hole to the inside of Bobby Ailes in turn one. Glenn Cusack in the Coke machine number two, trying to move to the second spot. Bob Ailes up high on the 25, dropping back. It's Glenn Cusack to the number two position. But the man on the move is Dave Dion. Dion in the 29, closing ground now on Bob Ailes in the 25. Dion running fourth. Dave Bibbins is fifth. Sixth is the 65 of Blair Bissett. Bissett, the final qualified car. Halfway down, this time for your leader, Dick Malone in the 35. Cusack second, Ailes third, followed by Dion, Bivens, and Bassett. And now Herb Simpson working to the outside for the next spot. Herb Simpson trying to go to seventh on the outside of Carlton Roby. Working in a turn number three, Roby on the inside. Simpson on the outside, it's Hudson Herbie with the spot. Herb Simpson now in seventh, really get Gathers it back up. Carlton Roby trying to make a run back at him. Dion making a move inside turn four. Goes underneath Bob Ailes and Dave Dion is, is in the third spot. Dion in the 29, now third. Ailes is fourth. Bibbins in fifth. Blair Bissett and here comes Simpson. Herb Simpson needs one to qualify in car number three. Blair Bissett. In the 65, Herb Simpson in the three. Only one can make it to the main event. Racing in a turn three and four. Dave Bitt backing up to meet the field now. Bibbins in the 31 is in it. Simpson trying to go to the outside. It's do or die now for Herb Simpson. Trying to rim ride the outside of the set. Two laps to go. Two to go for the 35 of Bilal, your leader. Cusack second, Dion third, Bob Ailes, Dave Bipp, and here comes Simpson. Simpson has the spot and he's looking for more on the high side. Hudson Herbie makes the move around Dave Bibbins, and he's got an insurance spot in his pocket now. White flag is out. 31, Dave Bibbins, now the final qualifier. Here's Bassett going to the outside. Blair Bassett, the 65, trying to pick it up, and he does it. Bivens struggling in the 41, checkers are up. Simpson and Bissett will get the final two. So Mayetta and Craven will try it again this time. Dave Herrick and Mike Johnson in row number two, followed by Milt Wright and Larry Cates. Here they come, they'll try it again in four. Watch your starter. Mayetta and Craven down to the line, they get three. It's Mike Mayenna in the 13, grabbing the lead down the back straightaway. 33, Mike Johnson, the 09, Ricky Craven coming back on the high side. Craven not giving it up yet. Craven works the high groove, looking for the lead. He pulls even on Mayenna down the back straightaway. Mayenna in the 13, the 09, Craven. It's Ricky Craven with a nose in front now. Down to the line, completing lap number two. Craven, your leader. Side by side, they race one more time down the back straightaway. The 13 of Mike Mayetta. The 09, Ricky Craven, one car off course in turn number two, the 46, Bill Zardo. The car is under power. They'll stay green for the moment. And Zardo attempts to refire. He has it back underway. Rick Craven, your leader in the 09. Mayetta running second, but under challenge now. Mike Johnson comes to the outside of the 33. shedding fiberglass as the right rear tire comes apart on car number nine. Field under caution for the 53, Dan Beatty and the nine, Evo Medar. Those two automobiles made what appeared to be minor contact coming out of turn four, but cut down that right rear tire on the nine of Evo Medar, and that tire just demolished the rear end fiberglass on the Chevrolet Camaro. Set to go racing.
Craven, Mayetta, Johnson, Erlen, Wright, and Cates, the top six. Green is out, we're underway. Larry Cates in the seven, trying to go outside of Milt Wright and jump him on the start. Wayne Houghton downstairs in the 16. Side by side, that's the battle for the final spot. Larry Cates in the seven, drifting high in turn three and four. Houghton in the 16 with a nose underneath, picks it up. The 16, Wayne Howden now on the hot seat. The final qualified car. Cates in seventh, and here comes Ralph Nason. Nason in the tip, trying to move up. Yvonne Bedard back on the speedway in the nine, but he is a lap down to the field. Rick Craven out front and pulling away in the 09. Mayetta, Johnson, and Erlen. Back through the fourth position. In fifth, it's Phil Wright, but not for long as Wayne Houghton is on the move. Houghton on the outside. Puts the fender out in front for the number five spot. Houghton now is fifth, and Bill Wright goes to the bubble. Wright in the 03, the final qualifier. Ralph Nason trying to rim ride. He goes to the top of the track and drops back. Racing Ralph Nason in car number 10, letting it all hang out, trying to qualify. Nason needs two to get to the main event. Ralph Nason in car number 10 came in this afternoon, number six in the Coors Tour point standings, and he is in danger of not qualifying here at Beach Ridge. Nason trying to work underneath Larry Cates in four. Nason picks up one. The 03, Milt Wright, the final qualifier, racing Ralph Nason going to work down the back chute. Nason in the dodge, pulling up. The 10 of Nason on the outside, right in the 03 down low. The two veterans going hammer and tongs for the final spot in the main. And on the outside, here's Nason. Nason powers down the back straightaway and picks it up. Ralph Nason, now the final qualified car in the number 10. Two laps to go, this time fair leader Rick Craven in the 09. Craven out of turn four with two laps to go. Mayetta, Johnson, and Russ Erlin running second, third, and fourth. Craven last time around lapping at 15.5. White flag will fly this time. Craven with the lead, the move on the outside for third. Russ Erlin trying to move up. Mike Johnson in the 33 inside. Russ Erlin in the eight on the outside. Final lap, the battle is for third place. Down the back straightaway. Erlin moving up. Johnson coming back. Craven wins it. Man a second. Johnson, Erlin, Wayne Howden, and Ralph Nason will be the final transferee to the feature. 24, Joey O'Brien in the 80 car. Scott Watts ready to do battle. A Pivolin Camaro is in. Field is picking up the pace, coming out of the fourth turn. Joey O'Brien leads the way down. Screamer Scott pulls it right behind. Lou Weatherby headed for the outside. He wants to take over that second position. He's pulling hard down the back stretch, pulling up beside Screamer Scott. He has the second spot. He will be pulling into the first, uh, second place. Is that him? As they approach number two turn, he sets into the number two group and running a little bit wide, and Scott still able to stay close with him. The 22 of Danny Pullen coming up hard, along with Gary Drew in the 71. And then Scott Pullen loops it up, coming out of the four turn since David Pink came out over the way. Two cars down on the track, and he was looking over the field. He will display yellow. Yellow is out. And Scott Pullen and Dave Pink and both slide side the outside of the track. Not sure what damage, if any, has occurred. David Pinkin has his under power, and so doesn't Scott. The boys both appear to be able to go, which is good. Also that Charlie Martin was smoking, and as you saw, he disposed of that engine. Joey O'Brien brings him down. Lou Weatherby bringing it hard on the outside. Lou Weatherby has a slight edge as they cross the line, going in tight. Joey O'Brien holds it down low to the inside, but Lou Weatherby has the power to pull it down the back stretch. He'll be pulling in his first place. On the outside comes the 32 car, Dennis Westcott, making a strong move. Trying to get up around Freeman Scott. 
Lou Weatherby continues to set the pace down the outside, uh, down the back stretch. Gary Drew in the 71 closing the 44, showing smoke as he pulls to the inside. Something's let go in his car. It's Gary Drew making a strong move up the outside. Bobby Turner's pulled up on the inside of him, and they go side by side into the three turn. Trying to get a hold of that four spot away from the rookie. Pete Rondo in the, in the number five, driving a strong race for a rookie in the five car as they pull away from Gary Drew and Bobby Turner down the back stretch. Lou Weatherby in the three car, continues a strong turret pace down the front. Pulls it in by Gary Drew, continues to try to get to the outside and get around Pete Rondo. Unable to do that. Pete has a lot of power and able to hold him off. Screamer Scott still in second place. Danny pulling his Mike Mayetta pulling up the outside, which opened up a little room for David Pinkham down the inside. As Pullen pulls him down the outside and side by side back there for eighth place is Pinkham and Mayetta. Up front, Gary Drew still trying to make that move. He's able to get into the turns hard, but unable to get hooked up to get out. And Rondo and Screamer Scott continue to pull away from him as they leave the turns. Lou Weatherby setting a torrid pace down the front stretch. Pulling away a little bit each slap. Bobby Turner is getting a little pressure now for fifth place by uh, Mike Mayetta. Take over the fifth spot. Danny pulling right on his tail. Bobby Turner needs a lot of pressure now. Mike Mayetta, he's holding him at bay. As they go down the back stretch, Mike Mayetta pulls ahead by a half a car length. Danny Pullen comes right up on the bumper. Now Gary Drew trying once again on Pete Rondo in the, in the five car. Lou Weatherby turns in the track at 15.13 seconds. 15.13 seconds on Lou Weatherby. Set the very torrid pace here. Gary Drew seems to have the power down the straights, but unable to get out of the corners. And now Mike Mayetta is going to put a challenge on him for the fourth part. As we come around, Pete Tangway says halfway, gentlemen, halfway this time by. Lou Weatherby has a very, very comfortable lead. Mike Mayetta continuing to put the pressure on and no more pressure. He's just taking the spot away from Gary Drew. As they go down the back stretch into the turn, Gary Drew pulls up on the beginning, but Mike's able to pull away. Now he'll start working on the number five car, Pete Rondo. Scott in the, in the 80 car, in a good solid second place. Rondo unable to close in on him, but here comes Mike Mayetta for that second spot. David Pinkham making a move on the outside of Bobby Turner now back there in seventh spot. Mike Mayetta continues the pressure. Out of two turns, he goes side by side, down the back stretch. He gets a half a bumper out ahead. Bobby Turner takes a little sand pile. Down the back stretch, gets into the sand. If everything appears to be okay, we got the signal that is okay as yellow comes out on the track. Gary Drew making a quick exit to the pits. Weatherby brings him down slow. Green flag is out. Weatherby is not going. Off for Scott Watson. Mike Mayetta takes right off by him. Lou Weatherby either missed a shift or was asleep at the wheel. We're not sure what, but Mike Mayette is going to put a move on him now, trying to get up and take over that number two spot. And Screamer Scott Watts is leading this race. Mike Mayetta has the second spot by just a wheel. Very tight battle for that second spot. Mike Mayetta looking for the power to get around the both of them as they head down the back chute. The turn four still Scott Watts. With the power, Lou Weatherby and Mike Mayetta, strong, strong pass, side beat. Mike Mayetta now able to pull up on Scott Watts, pulls side by side down the back stretch, has the advantage going into three. Hooked up a little cleaner coming out of the turn, takes the lead going down through, and here comes young David Pinkham taking over third spot. Willie Elliott also coming in for fifth. Scott Pullen, is, Danny Pullen right there also. David Pinkham making his move now. He wants that second spot. Lou Weatherby a little loose, gets control of the car. Five laps to go next time around. David Pinkham looking to take over second spot from Scott, Scott Watts. Pulls a pretty near full car length the head, has the handling, able to get it through the turn. Will have that spot as they come down through. Lou Weatherby trying to grab 
Coppola hits number three and get it back in. He had a tremendous lead, lost it on the yellow. Now we have an ill-handling car out there. He's Luke's every time coming out of the turns. Willie Elliott making his move now. He's in the fourth place looking, looking for third. What? The number one car called maybe a lap down. We're checking that. Willie Elliott putting the move on. Uh, David Scott coming out of the fourth turn. Able to get up beside him, but not around him. And Mike Mayetta and David Pinkham. All away from the field. Pinkham closing in a little bit on Mayetta, but very little. Willie Elliott, I'm told, is a lap down, so he's not running for that fourth position. I would say Danny Pullen is, and the Pete Rondo and the five guys is running in for fifth. Pinkham is closing up ever so slowly on the sixth, uh, the 13 of Mayetta. However, he only has one more lap to go as they're on the green uh, white flag lap. Pinkham's going to give it all he's got coming out of the four turn, trying to get that position. However, he will not be able to do it as Mayetta pulls off the first modified win of 1989 with David Pinkham second. With Freeman Scott third. Peter Roundout in fourth. All right, we're set to go. The feature for the Norseman Resorts 200 has green. Larry Cates on the high side. The Pontiac car number seven has the lead down the back straightaway. Dave Bibbins in the Buick. Then Carlton Roby, Bob Ramsdale, Donald Thiege, and Evo Menard. Field sorting out through turns one and two. Larry Cates, your leader. Bibbins is second, and Carlton Roby trying to make some room. Roby in the 24 sees Larry Cates disappearing up ahead, and they attempt to get a move on. Only the winner will qualify. Evo Bedard in car number nine beginning to move. Bedard in the Chevrolet, he is up to the number four spot, showing some good speed on the outside. Evo Bedard, the St. Etienne Quebec driver, trying to move up to third now. The nine of Bedard goes to the outside of Carlton Roby. All the way to the wall, down the back straightaway as Yvonne Bedard, he moves up to number three. Bedard on the outside, needs two more. Larry Cates, your leader in car number seven. Dave Bibbins in the 31, and the man on the move is Bedard. Yvonne Bedard, car number nine. Down to the inside of Bibbins, down the back straightaway. Bedard goes to second. Larry Cates trying to hold him off at the field, bunches up. Oh, Ramsdale hard into the wall. Rob Ramsdale, red flag coming out. Red flag is out. For a hard crash in turn four. There's going to be trouble at the ground now. Rob Ramsdell, the 37, with a violent crash on the front straightaway. And I got a feeling we're going to see a couple of drivers get the heave hole out of this one for running through the red flag. Ron Barker brings the pace car on the pit road, and we're set for a start. LeBrac and Kings. Looking for green, only the winner transfers. Green is out, and it's Cates on the break. They whack on each other back in the pack a little bit further. Everybody gets away. Larry Cates, and now Yvonne Bedard is second. Cates in the seven. Bedard in the nine going at it. Derek Lynch sideways again out of turn four. Lynch having all kinds of problems in the 15. Larry Cates, and now he's it. Here's Yvonne Bedard. Bedard, the Canadian, up on the outside of Cates. Cates pushes him wide out of turn four. Cates in the seven. Well, look at Carlton Roby get tagged around he goes. Roby and Dave Bibbins sit down on the bottom of turn two. Yellow is out. Yellow flag out. The 24 of Carlton Roby getting tagged from behind by Dale Quarterly's number 32, and we're under caution again. 
They'll look for a start. Kate's hard on the throttle. We've got Green, and we're racing to the sea ball. Bedard with a nose in front. Leaning on each other through turn one and two. They go door to door. Kate's on the inside. Bedard on the outside, and it's the ball Bedard by a fender. Kate's trying to ride him high. Bedard sideways, tangling with Quarterly. Dale Quarterly trying to make his way underneath for second. Bedard back on the outside. Top three cars under a blanket only. One will qualify. Cates now trying to hold him off high and low. Quarterly goes to second. 32, Dale Quarterly now running second. Yvonne Bedard getting drop kicked to the back of that lead pack. Derek Lynch in the 15 now is third. Field bearing down on Larry Cates with five laps to go. Five to go. Quarterly sideways. Sardo goes to second in the 46. And Larry Cates has got some breathing room. Four laps to go this time. Hold on to your hats, Grandma. This could get nasty. Four to go. Larry Cates the leader. Sardo trying to move underneath him. Bedard third in the nine. Dale quarterly 32. Sardo gets loose. Tried to make the hole underneath. Three laps to go. Cates beginning to push high on the racetrack. A 46, Bill Zardo attempting to capitalize. Two to go this time. Final two laps of the B feature. Larry Cates, Bill Zardo, Yvonne Bedard, and Dale Quarterly. The lead draft down the back straightaway. Cates trying to hug the inside. Bedard coming up high. White flag is out. Zardo trying to move underneath. Zardo still trying to go underneath. Larry Cates almost driving it into the infield, trying to stay low. Here's Bedard down low. Zardo moving at the checkered flag. It's Larry Cates, your winner. Look at Yvonne Bedard going around. Holy cow, Yvonne Bedard does the slide for life down the front straightaway. And Larry Cates survives to qualify for the Norseman Resorts 200. Blair Basek and Bob Ailes will set the pace off the inside of row number one. Pace car coming in in turn number three. Ladies and gentlemen, select your winner coming for green and we're underway. One car in trouble at the drop of the green, Wayne Howden in car number 16. Howden in the 16 is in trouble and off the pace. Down the back stretch, heading for turns three and four. Blair Bissett, 65, 25, Bob Ailes go at it.
It's a scorer's nightmare. Two abreast most of the way back through the pack. Your leader, the 25 of Bob Ailes. Herb Simpson in the three, running second. The 27, Jack Faith in his third. And a long gap back to the fourth place automobile, Lucien Rushelow. Bosowski is fifth to challenge on the outside. Mike Bayetta in the 13. Underneath Bayetta now comes Steve Knowles in the 88 automobile. Knowles with Claude McClare in tow, followed by Paul Johnson, Mike Johnson, and Bob Randall. Bob Ailes way out in front of the pack. He has led the opening 11 circuits. Bayetta gets bumped to the outside of turn four. Mike Bayetta trying to make ground on the outside lane. 33, Mac Bosowski down low. Bayetta up high. That is the battle for the number five spot. Field stacking up too wide behind them, trying to find the right lane to go. Bosowski on the inside gets the jump. The 88 of Dalton follows him through. Now Mike Johnson as Mike Bayetta trapped on the outside and the 13 falls back. Straight away, the 88, Steve Knowlton, 33, Matt Bosowski. Knowlton has a hole underneath. Steve Knowlton moving up. Johnson trying to do it. Bosowski tries to slam the door, can't do it. Mike Johnson moving underneath. Bosowski dropped it, kicked back two positions. Leclerc in trouble. Claude Leclerc with some fiberglass trapped under the right front tire, cannot turn the automobile. Leclerc in trouble in car number 11. Riding high on the top of the racetrack. Claude Leclerc falling to the back of the pack in danger of losing a lap here. Levin has the car back under power. He is a lap down to the leader, Bob Ailes. Working turn one, Ailes in the 25, goes around Dan Beatty. The 53 of Beatty goes a lap down, and now Herb Simpson starts to pull up the challenge. Simpson in the three, trying to pick up the pace. Lead cars down the back straightaway, nose to tail in the high groove. Bob Ailes in the 25 shows the way. The three of Herb Simpson running second. Jack Bateman third in the 27th. And the lap car of Claude McClare in fourth spot. The 88 of Steve Knowlton. Mike Johnson is fifth. The 66 Rushalo is sixth. And here comes Dave Dion. Dion starts to roll in the Berlin City Thunderbird. Moving up on the inside comes Dave Dion. Mike Mayetta in the 13, Dave Dion in the 29, jousting for position. Mayetta uses the slower car of Lucien Rushelo to move up. Mayetta now running in the sixth position. Dion on the outside goes to seventh. The 91 of Bob Randall is eighth. Leader continues to be Bob Ailes in the 25 as they work turn one. One car slowing on the apron at turn four. Gary Smith of the 75, he'll take it behind the wall. Smith out of it in car number 75 here on lap 23. And the man on the move continues to be Dave Dion. He puts the Thunderbird on the outside of the head of Pontiac down. Pontiac on the inside, forward up high, and it's Dave Dion moving up. In turn three, Bob Ailes still the leader. Herb Simpson second. Third spot to Jack Bateman. In fourth, the 88 of Steve Knowlton. Mike Johnson fifth in the 83, and Dion now sixth in closing crowd. Dave Dion trying to run down Johnson for the number five spot.
now all the way around the racetrack. The leader, Bob Ailes, 25 across the start-finish line, completing lap number 28. Ailes the leader, Simpson ducking to the inside, can't find room to work on the inside at two. Ailes down the back straightaway, sets up the 46 of Bill Zardo. The three of Herb Simpson, the 11, Claude LeClaire trying to get his lap back. LeClaire had problems early, but he is coming back. LeClaire to the inside as Simpson puts the nose in front for the lead. Hudson Irby has the lead in car number three. Ailes drop kick back to second. And Claude LeClaire battling to get his lap back in car number 11. LeClaire with a long way to go would like to get back on the lead circuit here. Herb Simpson, the leader in car number three. LeClaire, the up left automobile. Bateman now goes underneath for second. Jack Bateman, the 27 now in the runner-up position. And trapped out high is the Bob Ailes machine. Ailes, who led the first 29 laps, now in danger of falling back. Yellow flag is out. Mike Mayetta spinning. Field scattering to avoid Mayetta. Rick Craven gets tagged and goes around. Rick Craven's car called on to pit road by the Coors Tour officials as he will go on the tail end of the pack for being involved in that spin at the bottom of turn two. The 33, Matt Bosowski on pit road. Herb Simpson, the leader, is in the pits. Simpson has pitted car number three, giving up the number one position. The 27, Bateman is your leader. Steve Knowlton, the 88 is second. The 25 of Bob Ailes, third. Fourth is Mike Johnson. Dion is fifth in the 29. Then the 51 of Bob Randall. Next on the field will be Mike Mayetta in the 13, or check that, Mayetta involved in that skirmish. Green flag set to come out, and LeClaire gets the jump. LeClaire in the 11, holding on to that grasp of the lead lap. Bateman the leader in the 27, Dalton second, Johnson third, and here comes Dion. Dave Dion on the inside now goes to fourth. Randall, the 91 fifth, Cabana to the inside for the number six position. John Paul Cabana working under Ailes to go number six. Steve Dalton in the 88, working over Bateman down the back straightaway. Jack Bateman, the 27-year leader. Knowlton second, here comes Johnson. Mike Johnson wants a look on the outside. Johnson in the 83, going for all the marbles down the back straightaway. Puts a fender up on Bateman for the lead. The 27, Jack Bateman, 88, Knowlton. 83, Johnson and Dion on the outside. Top six cars, double file down the back straightaway. Johnson with a nose in front. Mike Johnson taking the lead by a nose at the line. Johnson, your new leader. Down the back shoot, Mike Johnson clearing way, has the top spot. Bateman second, Knowlton third, and Dave Dion starts to roll. The Berlin City forward with a bite on the outside, challenging for the number three spot. Dion on the high side, trying to do it the hard way. Gets around Knowlton, goes after Bateman for second place. Dion trying to move now. Side by side, down the back straightaway. DVD 8, Steve Knowlton, 29, Dave Dion. Dion with the jump up high. Dave Dion has second place. The 29 of Dion to the runner-up spot. Randall right behind him, the 91 trying to go to third. 91, Bobby Randall now third. Knowlton in the 88 for fourth place, followed by Cabana and Stevens. Here comes the outlaw out of the back of the pack. Jeff Stevens starts to roll. Stevens started 18th, and he now is in the top 10. Johnson in the 83, shows the way in a turn number four. Dion in second, the 91 of Randall third. Steve Knowlton fourth, Bateman fifth, sixth to Cabana. Black flag 
being displayed from Bobby Gahan in car number 50. Gahan with fluid leaking out of the rear end of car number 50. Leader Mike Johnson now working the lap. Traffic lock in. Yeah, they tangle right in front of the leaders. Johnson threads the needle and makes his way through. Three wide down the back shoot. Dion follows in second spot. Bob Randall, the 91, is third. Fourth spot to the 88 of Steve Knowlton. Then a long gap to Cabana, Bateman, and Jeff Stevens. Bob Gahan on pit road in car number 50. The Jim Ray team going to work on the rear end of the Chevrolet. Side of the race. 
racetrack will continue under Green. Green remains on and a challenge again for second. Mike Johnson coming back on Randall in turn one. Bob Randall, the second place automobile, just trying to keep up. Caution is out. Caution is out for Dave St. Clair in turn one. Dave St. Clair spinning at the top of turn number one, brings out the second caution flag of the afternoon. Field set, pace car coming in. Dion on the inside, Randall on the outside, ready to shoot it out on the restart. Here they come. Green is out, and it's Dion with the big jump. Seventy-six laps in the record book, and Dion holds off the restart. Mazanson sideways in four, gathers it up. Dan Beatty gets tagged. Beatty in the 53 gets tagged, and Claude LeClaire torn up in car number 11. Caution flag out. Yellow flag out for Dan Beatty. Look at everybody scattering now to avoid Beatty's 53 automobile. Dion and Randall. We'll see what Dion's got in store this time. Watch your starter. Green could fly at any time. Here they come, out of four, the slow pace, Green is out, and Dion again with the jump. Dave Dion reaches into the bag of tricks one more time and holds off Randall Johnson high. Mike Johnson off the pace and dropping back. The third place machine now going to the tail end of the field, Johnson in trouble. And he's not going to be able to get to the pitch. Top break for Mike Johnson, and it looks like he's got problems. Smoke showing from underneath the 83 machine. Paul Cabana closed in for that third place spot. Now making his move for fifth place. Paul Richardson, Ross Erlin, Robbie Crouch, Ricky Craven, all in the back now. Throw the blanket over. They're going to come around the black car. Holding up Robbie Crouch, they're making a move around him now. Randall hanging with Dave Dion as they approach <coughs> one turn. Dion goes wide, but Randall can't get in that spot. Dion seems to be handling the second groove out there. As we have caution, the 65 car spins, Blair set spins in the three turn. We are under caution. Everybody seems to be getting around him. Under caution one more time at lap 89. Richardson has got a hustle. They're going green. Richardson is going to be trapped on pit road if he doesn't hustle. The 07 underway. He's got to try and catch the field. Richardson sideways all the way down pit road. Green is out. Dion has the lead. Cabana trying to fall it through for second. Bobby Randall trapped on the high side, dropping back. Trying to make a run in the high groove. Comes back in Dion. Randall is not done yet. The 91 going after Dion on the outside. Way to the top of the track. Bobby Randall's out of it. Randall all the way back to the number six spot. Randall rolled the dice and it came up snake eyes in turn number three. Dion the leader. Cabana second. Ralph Nason third. Then Rick Craven. What a run for Ricky Craven. He has come from 28th spot on the field. Ricky Craven started 
and 28, went to the tail end of the field on a caution, and now is running for third place. The E.J. Prescott 09 is on a roll on the outside. Goes around Ralph Nason for the third spot. Craven on the charge, now sets his sights on Cabana down the back straightaway. Craven to the outside, pulls up on the 5A. Cabana on the inside, Craven on the outside, wheel to wheel for the runner-up spot. Down the back shoot, drag race, Craven blows by in the high groove. Craven now number two, sets his sights on Dion in the lead. Halfway down, 100 down, 100 to go. Dave Dion, Rick Craven, John Paul Cavetta, and Ralph Mason, the top four. Ross Erland going to the down to the inside of Steve Knowlton. He takes away the number five spot. Knowlton is six, Ronnie Crown seven, and eighth to Bob Randall. Craven beginning to whittle away the lead of Dave Dion into turn number one. The Ford Thunderbird shows the way. Buick running in second, Oldsmobile third. Dodge is fourth and another Ford in the fifth spot. Craven anxious to get to the lead. Dion is not going to let him go the easy way. Around the lap car of Blair Bissett. Dion, the 29. Craven in the 09. Melt Wright in the 03 running slowly on the inside. He'll bring it to the pits. Craven trying the inside line again. Can't find room against Dion. Dion downstairs, hugging the white line on the inside. Craven looks high, looks low on a turn four. Dion, nothing home. Russ Erland now has come to the number three spot. Nason is fourth, Knowlton is fifth. Sixth spot to Robbie Crouch, Randall all the way back to seventh. Mike Johnson is eighth, the ninth position to Cabana, and Glenn Cusack, tenth to the twelve. Side-by-side -side battle in turn one for the fourth spot. Steve Knowlton inside of the 88, racing Ralph Mason on the high side of the 10. Mason puts the Dodge Daytona to work. Ralph Mason on the outside, trying to move up. Robbie Crouch down low will fill the hole under Mason. Leaders working turn number three, lock traffic dead ahead, and they are double file in front of Dion. Dion puts a lap on the Larry Cates machine. Craven in hot pursuit. Lap traffic, two abreast, three abreast in the turn number three. Dion now is going to have to put every bit of that experience to work. Dave Dion around the Buzzy Bazanson machine. We'll go after Lucian Rushalo in the 66. Craven right there looking for a mistake. Dion down low underneath Matt Bosowski. Passing flag is out. Field beginning to clear for Dion. On the Dick Belisle machine on a turn two. Belisle holding firm on the low side. Dion up high will put the 35 down one. Dion has his hands full with the Dick Belisle machine. Belisle running strongly at the bottom of turn three and four. Dion pulling up. Craven trying to go underneath them both. Can't find the room. Rick Craven down to the inside. Lap traffic made a sign in here. Belisle to the inside of LeClaire. Craven to the low groove. Dion up high. Side by side for the lead. They come out of four. Craven with a nose in front. Trying to force his way out of the box. Rick Craven is the leader. Craven with the traffic move, has it down the back chute. Dion storming back 
Ricky Craven now with the lead in hand. Where he bumps with Dick Delisle, gathers it up. Three wide, down the front shoot, moving under Buzzy Bazanza. Craven in the 0-9, having his hands full with Belisle as well down the back straightaway. Craven moves around the 35. Now he'll go after Barney McRae. Passing flag out for McRae. Craven trying to put a lap on the point leader, Richardson. Paul Richardson, moments away from being left by your leader, Ricky Craven. Richardson goes a lap down at the start-finish line. Upper tag out of turn two. Richardson gets into the back of the 46 automobile of Bill Zardo. Craven working around on the high side. Dion in second. The V of Erlin is third. The Thunderbirds running second and third this afternoon. Robbie Crouch, the 48, has come to third. Erlin 
is scored. Fifth place to the 5A of Cabana. Steve Knowlton, the 88 is six, seventh. Goes to the four of Barney McRae. Rick Craven. 
Stevens shows the way. Crouch is second, Earl in third, then the 22 of Danny Pollan. Danny Pollan in the 22, the fourth place on the field, and it's Fitness Dion. And what an accomplishment for Danny Pollan if he can come home fourth or better in this race. 171 down, working toward the 25 left to go mark. Front three, picking up the pace. It looks like it'll be a three-car race to the checker. Craven in the 09, Crouch in the 48, Ross Erlin in the 8.
he and Dan Beattie tangle on the front straightaway. Craven's 09 is all torn up. Lap 192 going in the books under caution. It will wind down to 195 and then the count will stop. The final five must be run under the green flag. So Crouch will not be able to win it under green. Dan Beatty, the 53, pulling behind the wall. Only the third retiree, check that, fourth retiree from this event. Here's Craven. Craven on pit road. Leroy, Warney Hamilton, and the team will go to work. Watch the plastic fly. There goes the rear bumper. Left-hand door coming off. They'll take the fender in the nose, too, if it comes with it. Your heart has got to ache for young Ricky Craven. He looked like he had his second career victory all but locked up. And then pandemonium on the front shoot as the caution flag flew. Craven may lose a lap. Craven may lose a lap. He's underway and he's going to make it, or is he? He's lost a lap. Craven goes down one in the pits. Crouch and Erlen at the front of the pack looking for a restart. Erlen gets in, Crouch, and Crouch goes around. Crouch gets tagged. Holy cow. Erlen and Crouch tangle. Yellow is out. Dion's involved. Paulin is involved. The 48 of Crouch with sparks showing from underneath. The defending champion, Ross Ellen, is now leading. Craven is sidelined. Crouch is sidelined. Here come Pullen and Dion heading for the pits. And this is going to be a scorer's nightmare. There's Dion coming in. Obviously, some body damage on the right hand side. We'll see where they go to work. Roger, Paul, Dion, and the team going to work. Dick MP pulling away the fenders. With less than 10 to go, it's not going to be pretty. They're just going to thrash it together. Jeff Stevens has got Dan Beatty's fender underneath his race car right now. the leader. The 10 of Ralph Nation is second. Dave Dion also loses a lap in the pits as they work on the body. The 8 of Erlin is your leader. Nation in the Dodge Daytona. Then the 21 of LePage, the 5A of Cabana. Here we go. Five to go and the green is out. Richardson trying to get his lap back. Paul Richardson, the 07, back on the lead lap. Russ Erland just trying to ride it out to the checkered flag. Four to go for Erland in the eighth. Cabana working around Kevin LePage. Cabana now, number three. LePage is fourth. Sticks are up with two laps remaining. Two laps to go. Ross Erland is on his way. Less than a mile remaining for Ross Erland. Down the back straightaway. White flag set to fly. Erland in the eight. All alone if he can bring it home. 
And what a race we saw today. 185 laps of ballet, 15 laps of WrestleMania at the end. Survival of the fittest, the Ford Thunderbird, the motion, Lincoln Mercury, John Thompson moving machine. Ralph Nation, an outstanding second place finish for the Jim Sullivan Company, Dodge Daytona. And John Paul Cabana, the old man from Montreal, comes home number three. Young Ricky Craven looking for Hot Break Hotel. Uh, just does not get any tougher than that. What a shame. He had him covered. With <coughs> pulled away from him time and time again on those restarts. With 10 to go, Craven had a four-car length lead and was just riding. Caution came out. He tangled with a lap car, and that's all she wrote for Craven. I'll say it again, Jerry. You go to the football game. If your team's up 21 with a minute to play, you know who's going to win. You can go home. Anybody that left here with 10 to go missed the race. Russ Earl and Winton, and that's going to be a happy gang out of London, Ontario, Canada. The defending Bosch BFCP Rookie of the Year on the Coors Tour scores his first win of the season here at Beach Ridge.